In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, or left unaided, in spite of this confidence, we fly unto you, Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you do we come before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this great opportunity that you give us with the gift of life and a moment and a day to live according to your commands. Lord, we pray to you through the intercession of St. John the Baptist, who came to prepare the way of the Lord. He came fasting. He came doing penance and shouting aloud the word of God, the commands of God to live and make the way straight in the desert. Lord, we ask you at this time to bless each one of us present for the morning prayer. All who have come for healing and deliverance, bless all those who are suffering, struggling in life. We pray for those suffering in Manipur. Lord, bless them with peace, joy, and serenity. Bring normalcy in their lives. Lord, we pray to you for all those Christians who are persecuted and who are suffering because they believe in you. Lord, we pray to you for all our intentions. Let us take the hymn, DD36 on page 115. Love is his word, love is his way. Feasting with all, fasting alone, living and dying, rising again. Love only, love is His way. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord, better than splendor and wealth. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord, Better than splendor and wealth. Love is his way, love is his mark, Sharing his last Passover feast. Christ at his table holds to the twelve, Love only, love is his mark. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord, Better than splendor and wealth. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord, Better than splendor and wealth. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of the Passion of St. John the Baptist, his beheading. Let us pray through the intercession of this austere saint who prepared the way of the Lord, who was born before him and died before him, who baptized the baptizer. Through him we receive baptism of the Spirit. Lord, we ask you to make us like him, preparing the way, leading people the right way, the right path, and showing them the way of love. Let us pray the Psalm 62. Antiphon, the Lord stretch out his hand and touch my mouth and set me up as a prophet for the peoples. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. 
so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord stretched out his hand, and touched my mouth, and set me up as a prophet for the peoples. Let us take Psalm 149. The saints rejoice. The members of the church God's new people will rejoice in their king, who is Christ. The Antiphon Herod listened to John, and when he had heard him, he did many things. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all is faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Herod listened to John, and when he had heard him, he did many things. Dear brothers and sisters, for our scripture reading, let us take from Isaiah chapter 49, verses 1 and 2. The Lord called me from the womb. From the body of my mother, he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, we are making a special prayer for inner healing. Let us concentrate on our inner self and ask our dear Lord to heal us from all that needs healing from deep within. All that is in our conscience and subconscious that we may be healed from all that is causing us injuries, hurts, and keeping us in the same state of ill-mannerism and in depression and tensions. Let us pray in thanksgiving, in gratitude to God, and raise our hands and ask our dear Lord to heal us. Lord Jesus, you know the whole of my being. Nothing is and can be hidden from you. You know well how everything functions. And so I offer the whole of me, mind, body and spirit. Today and indeed every day of my life, I come before you for a healing of my inner self. Touch me now where I hurt most. You know me best, Lord. And so you know better than anyone else what is best for me. Let the grace of your divine love flow to the inner recesses of my being, to my past, my present, and my future. Heal all the unresolved pain, anguish, bitterness, resentments, feelings of rejection, despair, and frustration. Heal me of all painful memories, stored in my subconscious, including all repercussions of traumatic experiences. Give me a forgiving heart 
and help me forgive all the people who have hurt me in the past. Help me also seek forgiveness from those I have hurt in any way whatsoever. Grant me the grace to accept all my sufferings as sharing in your own sufferings and offer this for the conversion of sinners and the salvation of souls, especially those near and dear to me. Give me a repentant and contrite heart to acknowledge the many ways I have sinned and displeased you in the past and in the present. Come, Lord Jesus, and bring me your divine mercy. Fill my emptiness with your love, your peace, and your joy. Grant me the grace of expectant faith to truly believe that I will be healed. Bring me hope in your forgiveness and loving mercy. And after I have been healed, may I serve you sincerely for the rest of my life as a powerful witness to your healing love. All this I pray for in the name of Jesus, through Mary, the angels and the saints. Amen. Dear friends, let us thank the Lord for the inner healing. Thank the Lord for being with us, for having touched us, giving, given us an opportunity to be touched, to be healed. With gratitude, let us pray the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily prayer and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, you appointed St. John the Baptist to be the herald of the birth and death of Christ your Son. Grant that as he died a martyr for justice and truth, so we also may courageously bear witness to your word. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, may you have a wonderful day with your family and friends. Live Jesus.